I really just I'm having a hard time of getting the flavors. It might have been a little bit too hot. So Pat, what do you think of the tea? It's your, you are bitter. Glazed. bitter? Yeah. But I like it. It's, uh, it's a little strong. But I kind of like that kind of taste. I'm very, I'm a new of tea. But yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's uh, different, different flavors. So I think these cups are handmade. Generally, if you want to do the roll of five, the next one yeah, like five. So I think so everything, like this, five, this joshi yeah, to like what we're talking about, to the tea cup that you drink out so of, like affects the way that you'll perceive much. the flavors of the tea. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some cups that we have called doha, which you'll taste more in the tea than you will taste in any other type of cup. Please don't put anything in my tea. Yeah. What's in your hand? It's tea. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna like come over and be like, oh, what's it smell like? And then like throw out steak tea in my tea. But so I chose these cups because they're a little bit rougher. I think it matches the roastiness of it a little bit. And so it would probably taste a little bit less in this than you would a very high fired porcelain. Yeah, dude. This is, I really like this tea. Why do you make tea? Why do you like doing it? Yeah. Uh, so there's a few reasons that I love tea as much as I do. Um, so, number one, I think it just tastes real good, and I enjoy drinking it. So I think that there's a lot of complex flavors in tea. Um, tea can taste anything from, like, uh, spinach to dirt in a good way, to fruits and apricots, um, and a million different things. So it's really cool from that aspect of the connoisseurship. It's a really great thing, and it's pretty affordable, even really good tea. Um, and so it's just nice to taste and experience. Um, also, I'm a person who really likes um, just kind of calming things. I'm very attracted to calming people, to calming music, and to tea, which I think is very calming. So I think everything from the aesthetics of tea to the act of brewing it in a ceremonial style 
um, it just calms me down and really helps me relax. So those are the two biggest reasons I think that I love team. Right, so do you constantly learn more about team? Like is there an endless... Yeah, so there's a big progression from someone who just comes to the institute and is just learning about T to someone like a T master, T, like, like T Parker, who has been studying T for 20 years and can just brew tea without even thinking about it. And there's just a whole level of mastery. So even having brewed tea for a couple of years, I, there's so much that I could still learn about, and mostly in brewing technique. So, you know, I learned that with the roasted dulong, you want to be careful to pour lightly on the leaves, but there's so much more complexity to that, to really making a perfect cup every time. And it just comes with experience and trying to push for that, you know what I mean? Because if I just brewed mindlessly every time, I wouldn't, I would never get better. Oolong is my favorite category, I'd say, but it's, it's very broad. Um, it can be anything from basically green tea to basically black tea or red tea. Um, I tend to prefer oolongs that taste very fruity. Um, so that's usually a more oxidized oolong. So my favorite, my favorite tea in the world is a very good concubine oolong. There's another very highly oxidized tea that is spread on the tip of my tongue. Um, but it, it's just delicious. Super fruity, very, very obvious, kind of dark plum type fruit. And I turn around, so it's really delicious. Seeing, but, um, so, those are my favorite yeah,